Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen, and have you ever gone to a carnival, like a, maybe a street festival, or even an amusement park, and you thought to yourself, man, I'm getting kind of hungry. So you start walking around, and all of a sudden you see a stand or a place for fried Oreos. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? But it also can be kind of pricey. Usually, they're about eight, nine bucks, maybe a little more, like about four to six um, Oreos with it, and you're like, oh, this is amazing, but not really worth the price sometimes. Um, so, um, so, you know, you're there, you're, you're like, okay, fine, I'll, unfortunately, sometimes you have to pay the price. And that's how it goes. So I know I already got your back today, guys. And I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna do one better, we're gonna make our own for a lot cheaper price. So I went out to Target, and I bought, unfortunately, I went there to get the mint versions, but they don't do, they don't seem to make the mint versions anymore. And, so I had to go but I bought their market pantry ones. These are about less than two dollars, guys. Two dollars for all these. There's like, like, geez, there's uh, it says three cookies, about twelve servings. So that's like twelve, thirty-six cookies in this package alone. Just a lot of fried Oreos. Anyway, then I'm also going to. All right, so here's what I got. I got a pancake mix here. You can use any pancake mix you really want. I just might prefer to do make your own, or whatever. But this is already pre-ready. Basically, you know, mix it up to a thicker batter that will hold on to the cookie, and then we're gonna put it in the fryer. So in a second, you're gonna see that. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna get it and get it going. Um, and some the most a lot of things. What I'll do is I'll have a um, I'll have a a temperature gauge. You can actually buy a oil thermometer, and with that you can you can test. Uh, your temperature, I don't remember what temperature you're supposed to be at, sorry, but um, I usually have them, but um, you can always look online for recipes and they usually tell you, I think so this is over 400 or something, it has to be the temperature, but I don't have to just guess today, yeah, so here we go, hope that it works out. Alright guys, so now that your oil is done and your battery is as well, you're going to put your, you're going to put your cookie into the batter. Now, the good thing about this batter is very versatile. You can use, you can use, you, you can um, put it as, you can make chocolate batter, you can make pumpkin spice batter, you can do all sorts of different types of flavors if you want. It's very easy, very versatile. Now, these will cook very quickly, so really be careful and really be cautious about how, how, um, that's what I'm saying, don't do one at a time. And I would suggest use a metal, a metal. A metal thing to cook them with not anything else and you're gonna to need to wash these very closely because as you see right there they're pretty much almost almost done make sure you keep track and use a metal thing with some stuff to flip over into they will burn very quickly um, I, I'm not gonna fly make sure you have a plate with a with a with, with some paper towels and boom, within like a one minute, you have yourself fried Oreos. Uh, so you can see the process again, very quick, very simple. Um, pretty much ah, drop and drop. All right, yeah, one more in here, we'll quickly drop in. If you want to get too close to the do you want to get close to it because it will it will um, get a little messy, but it's okay. A little mess are not a little mess is, is not horrible. Like literally done. Now if you're you're on um, now what I know if your batter is if your oil is properly heated, you will be able to um, they shouldn't be greasy at all. I promise. Things that become uh, greasy um, are generally because the oil is not hot enough. So we are going to turn off the stove now and let this go. All right, guys. So now that we um, they're all done. Here they are. They don't look super pretty, but you know what? Oh well. So now when we're at the fair, they usually sprinkle on powdered sugar or chocolate syrup. Um, I don't really have that right now. It's my whim. I just have some cocoa powder, which I'm just going to finely dust. Um, which does also help soak in uh, uh, any of the grease that's left over. And there you go. You got some, you know, I would say less than four dollars you get a whole bunch of it. And I still got stuff in the the bowl for like less than four hours. Four dollars you get uh, 
uh, fried Oreos. So we had fun today, and um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I did the best you know what I have. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think everything came out pretty well. Um, I'm gonna give one try real quick. Mmm, not bad. See? Mm-hmm. Came out really well. Very delicious. Great snack. But yeah, so thank you all for joining me. Um, remember to hit the hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications when I, you know, post a video every time. All right, bye.